Thank you, Trevor. Um, I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm like rethinking my entire career now. Thank you very much. Um, really interesting presentations um, from Easton and Barbara. Um, okay, so, oh, okay. Well, um, thank you all for being here. Um, it's, it's a great opportunity to, to be in the symposium um, the second year in a row, and it's great to be following up um, such thoughtful presentations. Um, Today, my talk's gonna to be a little bit out of the norm for, for what I normally do. I'm not gonna be talking about an experiment or a restoration um, per se, but more about a concept, maybe a, a thought experiment, um, which is entitled here, Crossing the Head of Tide Divide or Completing the Hydrologic Continuum. Now, I'm presenting here on behalf of the team, my, my co-PI here, Adam Weinmore, as well as a number of participants or, or team members that you're going to see in the upcoming slides. Um, the idea is fairly simple. It was that, you know, we I think we used to use the term silo. Um, uh, we tend to work in the environments we work in and not always cross between those systems. So a dam or a head of tide type structure is both a literal and figurative kind of silo division between um, working groups and I think opportunities. Did that happen? Yes. Okay. So we, we kind of figured we have ourselves a problem. And it's not just that I'm giving the presentation instead of Adam, but that we actually have, um, you know, group working groups that could be integrating together, that could be asking bigger questions, that could better serve management needs or stakeholder needs um, throughout our watershed. So we may have folks like Nathan up here, um, electro fishing, um, and luckily I'm not in that picture. Um, and we may have folks doing work um, in the estuary itself, but they're not necessarily working in collaboration. Now that doesn't mean that folks in this presentation and in this room aren't crossing that head of tide divide, but we're interested in really formalizing some way to make them all come together a little bit better. All right, so these are some faces. I put some names. Hopefully, this is the updated version where I put all the L's back into Wuhan. Uh, and maybe I always put an extra one in the beginning and I steal one from the back end. Um, but these are faces you probably recognize, right? And these are people who are working together on some level um, and maybe in small groups. And we try to put them all into a big think tank and see what we come out the other side. I particularly like this slide because A, I ripped all the pictures off the internet without asking anybody, and B, it's the only time that Kala has ever looked up to me. <laughs> Mic drop. Okay. So, um, so Adam and I were, were kicking this idea around, and we were, I think we were in Puerto Rico together, and we were thinking, you know, working on some new thing. We're like, why is it we don't work together? We seem to do a lot of, ask a lot of similar questions. Sometimes we, um, are working the same approaches, maybe some, some similar methods. Why aren't we doing more of this together? And I think I've had this conversation with several other folks in this room. Um, and you know, maybe, maybe I should start asking more personal questions of myself, why they're not collaborating with me. But, but um, we put together this woefully childish cartoon to show who was working where. And this was like quick and dirty. We had like a lunch together. We realized we could put together a core proposal and we said, who could we get on this team who was working in the upper watershed, who was working in the estuary, and who was working, where, where are the synergies? Where are the initials showing up in the upper systems and, and across down into the estuary? And we were kind of pleasantly surprised to see a lot of overlap. Now, again, I apologize that there's names missing, there's initials missing, um, but this was a, just a quick and dirty to get to submitting the proposal on time. I think we thought of it on a Tuesday. We put a pre-proposal together on a Wednesday. We called a bunch of people on a Friday and we submitted it by the end of the day. Um, you know, science. <laughs> so our group then came up with, in the proposal, we had to kind of limit what we could realistically do together, like what a research theme could be that would span this whole watershed, right? So looking at the timer, if I had to ask people in this room, is there a research theme that you think could span that whole head of tide divide? What might it be? Climate. Climate. Okay, it could be fun, right? It could be microplastics. It could be microbiome, right? Well, we went with, right, nitrogen. And the fact that we could 
really resolve conflicting hypotheses about the role of reactive nitrogen in the system. And the way that I might look at that question may be very different than the way that Adam or Will might look at that question. But the fact that it matters to all of us, we thought, again, was, was where the opportunity lied. And we picked a second one, which is sediment. It's one I feel a little more confident speaking about. And our question was, how can we better management sediment loads, which both have positive and negative effects um, in our systems? So um, those are those are our kickoff questions, sort of like the straw person questions that we thought we could put together a working group and try to address. Um, in reality, we don't know that those are the questions we want to ask, right? That's just what we came up with. We felt pretty confident about asking those questions. But um, the next thing was really what, through this core grant was to reach out to other folks and see what their thoughts are, right, or where their interests lie, or how we could modify these questions to better serve um, stakeholders or the management needs or the conservation needs or the resiliency needs. You pick whatever your subject area is. Um, and the way that we uh, proposed to approach this was through a series of workshops, right? And the first one would be here in Great Bay. Uh, we're looking for a venue, actually. So if you know anybody who give us a nice room, uh, <laughs> let me know. Um, so that first workshop would bring together the core people who we saw in, in the prior slide, as well as really anybody else who has an interest or a stake in the game or wants to be part of that working group. And through that process, you kind of iterative, we'd be looking at questions in, in the upper watershed, as well as into the estuary and in the marine coastal areas. And hopefully in that process, come up with either modify those research themes we, we presented for discussion or come up with new ones and otherwise just kind of find consensus. And the second way to do that would be an additional workshop somewhere else. So in theory, if we come up with a good question that we think is interesting, relevant, um, serves the needs, um, and fits into current funding streams, then we should be able to pick that idea up, go to another watershed, ask the same question, and hopefully get a similar response. So we paired up with the folks from the Plum Island LTER, um, who were really excited about the idea. And figured we could take whatever we generate from our first bar workshop, drop it down there and see if it works, if it doesn't work, and how it might change or have to be modified for the particulars of that system. Now, it turns out the, the LTR folks were really excited about it um, and said, hey, we've been trying to do that for years. So they were really excited about um, bringing our show to, to them. And that should be happening um, come summer. So um, I should probably point out that <clears throat> Most core grants are designed as sort of seed money to do something bigger, right? So our working group meetings should evolve into um, actionable items for research that would uh, spend the entire watershed and allow us to write for some grants, perhaps a, uh, a, a uh, collaborative research grant that integrates as much um, of our expertise as possible. So this essentially, it serves as the kickoff of our program. Several members of our team are in this room. And um, hopefully, if you have an interest in this, or you have a better idea and you want to redirect us, which we're very much open to, um, you can find myself or any members of the team and give us your thoughts. We, we would love, love it if you contacted us, either these two emails um, or by reaching out to anybody else who's on the team um, so we can get you on our contact list and so that you can um, hopefully participate and help see this vision group. And with that, I'll turn it back over to Trevor. Thank you.